All right, hello everyone. Here we are, hole number five. Now, what I strongly recommend, mo mostly for the second shot, is going to be the Titan Ball. And let's take a look here. So, Titan Extra Mile. We're just going to basically put it out in play more so than anything. Have to restart the game once again. You can see how frustrating playing the tournaments are. I'm surprised people are even putting up with it, to be honest with you. Personally, I would definitely sit out. I I, I can't see a single reason to play an account with uh with the game behaving this way. Um Definitely not going to want to probably do what my opponent's doing here. Uh, this, you're going to run this into the tree. Or you're going to, uh, you know, with all this curl that they're using, yeah, this is definitely going to uh, actually ricochet right off the tree trunk. Don't follow anything that you just saw. Um, there's no advantage to doing that in any way, shape, or form. All you'll really need to do is just kind of bend this tree more than anything, right around one top spin. Uh, you know, perfect ball is going to be kind of very, very helpful, mandatory. So you do want to kind of focus on that a little bit. You can see that I'm not really adding any power or anything. I'm just kind of going, oh, geez. So hopefully I can still avoid this tree. Looks like I did get under it, thank goodness. But you can see, you know, just trying to play it towards this edge here is the way to go. So you can see I get right up to this front here. And, you know, keep in mind, perfect ball, I would have just been just a little bit more out towards the right. However, you'll see that I'm still very much in a good position. And aside from that, what I'll try to do for the second shot is some kind of overpl overplay. Um, you know, I could use the notebook tool, but it's going to be such a small wind. It's also not required as well. You know, because let's just say it's five wind, you know, it's going to just be two two rings or so. It's going to be a very, very small wind that I play. So really, it looks like it might just be a little bit more angled. So 1.8-ish, very, very small ring adjustment. More so than anything, I'm going to go right around two on the backspin and see with where I'm trying to land and just trying to predict the ball guide more than anything. So right around just a hair less than two rings here. Of course, of course, why hit a perfect ball? <sighs> So you can see with the limited accuracy, it just, you know, landed right on that edge. Pretty much don't do what I did. You don't have to get that aggressive. You can play it over to the side a little bit more and just use some left spin. That's what I would recommend to avoid that mistake. If the game actually had a fluid needle, though, I, that would have never happened. But it basically just shot right across on both my drive and my second shot. So essentially cost me that for that reason alone. As I mentioned, what you can try to do is some side spin to where at least with a great ball, if I use the side spin, it would have still clipped the fairway edge. So that's what I would recommend. Um, alternatively here, you're going to see that I'm going to need to try to pitch this up into the hole with no ball guide. <sighs> when I don't have ball guide, I play it just a little bit tighter to the hole. It's kind of my preferred method of playing. So you can see, I'll basically maybe put it on the edge of the cup, kind of up here, and if I get my perfect ball, I could still make it. Perfect ball. So I like the odds. As I mentioned, um, when I have limited ball guide, just playing it a little bit tighter, and with some backspin, it's going to give you a good idea as to how it's going to roll in. Um, but as I mentioned, you know, just play a little bit more cautious than I did. You don't need to aim that aggressive 
towards the edge and then catch a great ball. And, you know, one ring is on a backbone uh, on a big dog six. It's like two and a half, like at least a three yard pull to the left, which uh, moved me out onto the rough there. So just be careful. Good luck. And I'll see you guys on the next hole.